Located a few kilometers from Krabi Town Center, the limestone mountains that belong to the Kaupanumbencha range are home to one of the most sacred sites in the south of Thailand, the spectacular Tiger Cave Temple or Watamsua. Watamsua is one of the most interesting temples in southern Thailand as the monks live and worship within a maze of natural caves. Inside the main temple, visitors can explore the inner caves used by monks for meditation and for giving blessing to the believers. Uh, well, making merits. What's making merits? Basically, people bring food uh, for the hungry, and they bring toys uh, for the boys, for the families who cannot buy toys for the boys. Now, we, we take it to a, the, the further level. Buddhism is so thorough that they have thought also about the final moment of a human being. And, and, and you have no money to buy a coffin, your family is struggling with food and so on. So. Here you go, you can make merit by buying a coffin for the people who cannot afford to have a coffin. How brilliant is that, guys? I mean, I, I proceed on my journey to spirituality. The temple compound has some fascinating features worthy of a visit, even for those who are not religiously inclined. One of these is the giant statue of Kwam Yin, the Buddhist goddess of compassion and loving kindness, which also signals Krabi's Chinese influence. Watamsua is a community of meditators. Behind the Kuan Yin statue is the Vipassana Center, where, in the quiet of the trees, monks practice inside meditation. Many Thai women live at Wat Tham Sua as nuns. They can often be seen dressed in white robes, sitting on the porches between the parking area and the staircase to the mountains, preparing herbal medicines or performing manual labor and housekeeping tasks. The main temple cave houses a shrine with a statue of a tiger along with numerous Buddha images and statues. This is supposedly the path that the tiger would take to reach its den long time ago. That we're talking about at the time where the first monks reached this area and decided to build a temple here. Um, again. Supposedly, according to local histories, the tiger would actually live in there. And uh, she was here for quite a long time after the monks arrived and decided to establish a temple here. She wouldn't leave, so she was befriended by the monks. And after a number of years, they had to get rid of her because obviously they had uh, people visiting the place and the monks for offerings and so on. The tiger became a bit dangerous. Buddhist, but uh, she lived here in symbiosis with the monks for a number of years. And it is with these images of a big stupa under construction that we conclude this video series made of three parts. We hope you have enjoyed it and will refer you to the near future where we will put new aspects of this wonderful and multifaceted temple, Watamsua.